comments on the stepdad. I first met Kimber uh, in the summer of, and I'm not sure if it was 91 or 92. Do you remember, Ken? Um, could have been 91. Yeah. I would never thought of it, so my players seem to have satisfied that void of all those years. Then Pat provided me with an instant family. Kenton, Kimberly, and Rebecca. I was an instant dad. I got the next 28 years as a bonus in my life. On the summers to come, while still working in Germany, we would always come back to Santa Cruz to reconnect with Kent, Kimber, and Rebecca, and Wren. Um, that was uh, Rebecca's only daughter. We always enjoyed our time with gracious hosts like Marge, Jerry, and Cecile. They've become lifelong friends of mine. There was the beach, the boardwalk, natural bridges, and trips to Monterey Bay. One Christmas we flew back and had Kimberly fly up to Cannon Beach, Oregon to join us for a Christmas week. In fact, because of that, we have that picture on the left today because Kimberly refused to be photographed full frontal. You'd have to catch her off guard and it was very difficult. So at least we have that one picture. Although Kimber led a life as a recluse, it was very private, like her mom, I might add. She didn't maintain a network of street friends. She did maintain. She and I always had a good time together, and I always, expect, I always felt accepted by her as a stepfather. I learned a great deal about Kimber's views on life, issues, and her lifestyle from the numerous rides back and forth from her home to our home in paradise. I would pick up Kimberly, I would take her back home, and we'd have nice conversations. It was good, quiet time, private time for us. I will always visualize Kimberly's unique beauty, both inside and out. Her noticeable intellect, and the most notable, not notably her quick wit, again, like her mom. In addition, she adored her comforting cat, Octavia, and her many, many rats named Mickey. <laughs> they would each get a number. Mickey, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not sure how high she got. You can't? <laughs> Kimberly truly loved her life in paradise. Pat and I always sensed that she had a, held a constant fear of becoming homeless. It was with this, at this juncture that we decided to purchase the home in Paradise and we provide Kimber with this much needed security blanket. She embraced having a home of her own that provided her the means to navigate her cooking skills with her limited budget, but to live comfortably with her beloved pets. In addition, those, the house was centrally located in the town of Paradise so she could walk easily to the Safeway and the Paradise uh, Library. She consumed every audio tape on file and then started the process all over again. They just had to listen all the time to books. And she never let her brain rest. Kimber was a very given person, as Kent alluded to. Again, like her mom, who would purchase items from the local food bank or thrift stores and gift them to those street people. Also, like her mom, she had a tremendous amount of self-pride. And I'll give you one incident. She would always have a threat. You know, I'd, I'd be dropping off. I said, Kim, come on, the gutters are getting are over, falling up there. I'm coming over tomorrow, and I'm going to be cleaning those up for you. By the time I got over there in the morning, I pull up in the driveway. There she is on top of the roof cleaning them out herself. <laughs> she just had that intense self-pride. No, I can do this. I don't have to have a man do it for me. <laughs> we lost Kimber too soon, and Opal LeBlanc was the last person to get to talk with her on his cell phone, driving out of the maddening fire of paradise. I told her, please, get your walker, get your pets, get out to the streets, somebody will pick you up. 
Oh no, I'm going to be the one up on the roof and the helicopters are going to haul me away. That was her spirit. She had a free spirit. And uh, I think in my heart, uh, she probably couldn't find Octavia and she never would have left without that cat. And then it was too late. Those are some of my memories of Kimberly.